Hey guys, it's Kirsten from Mini Session Inspiration and Photoshop Education. I asked uh, Jen Earl if I could um, add her vintage truck into this picture, uh, to which she also provided me. And um, so yeah, we're just gonna jump right in. So the, there's a hundred different ways to do this, but I'm gonna do it the way that I would do it. And um, you can always fine tune it if uh, you're giving this to your clients. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just add a little punch um, to the sky. So I'm gonna go file, place embedded, or you can do place linked. You're gonna scroll down to where your overlays live. I have some, sun, uh, some sky in this folder. So I want something kind of light, maybe the bottom of this. So we're gonna hit place. You're gonna bring it right down to the lowest part of the sky. And then hold the shift key down and you're just gonna stretch it over like that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just lower the opacity down like that. Put a layer mask on, which is the rectangle with a polka dot. We're gonna get a soft black brush. You can right click to make sure it's all the way soft. You're gonna use your bracket keys to make it bigger. Okay, we're only, we're not gonna go anywhere near the sky. We're only gonna go um, right about like this because we don't want it to make a halo. So we're just gonna make sure it's not on dad or mom. But see how I'm staying well below the skyline? Okay, so we're just gonna go like there's gonna be some tricky ones right in through here. Okay, we're just gonna do that. Now raise the opacity back up. Does not look amazing. Totally kidding. Okay, we're gonna double click on the sky layer and we're gonna go down to the blend if mode. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold on to the left and you're gonna drag it to the right. Good Lord, I just moved the wrong, okay. We're gonna drag it to the right until a lot of the tree shows, but not all the trees show. So right about like that. Then you're gonna hold down the Alt key and click once. That's gonna separate it so you can feather it. Now we're gonna drag this more over. Let's go right like to there maybe. Actually, let's go to there. Now I wanna see just what happens when I move the right side. Um, I already know I hate it. Okay, so we're gonna hold the Alt key. We're gonna click on that cause that's gonna feather it some. So let's go a little bit like that. And then we have room to bring this over. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Okay, we're not done yet though. So a couple things. One, you can tell the way back, 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 back row of trees um, is a little blurred out. So it looks weird having sharp clouds. So we're gonna deal with that. But first also, I'm just gonna lighten it because I don't think it would be that dark either. Okay, so we're gonna click on the sky. We're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Like we don't want to go so berserk. I don't know, I'm feeling like 8.6, nine. Okay. So some of these trees were too light to really um, pick up the blend if mode. So let's lower it again, click on the layer mask. See, that's where it's making a halo. 
So, let's go back a little bit. Let's lower the opacity to like 20 something. And I'm just going to go like that. Okay. Just blend that a little bit better. All right, so we're going to go back on the background layer. We are going to go to the quick select, but then right click and do the object selection tool. And we're going to tell Photoshop that we want to select this whole family. Then zoom up as close as you can. Right click and do the quick selection tool, plus and minus up here. So we have to add a little bit of mom's hair. It's going to be finicky here. All right, good enough. We're going to take away a smidge up in there. All right, that looks good. The little girl looks good. All right, dad has some The shift key also makes the plus sign. All right, that's good enough. And then we're going to take away right there. All right, that's, well, I guess we have to. All right. Then we're going to hit select and mask. This is for the little things um, like, you know, flyaway hairs. So we're just going to go maybe around mom's head. I feel like it's picking up some things I don't want. That's right. Dad's hair. Maybe the little girl's pom poms. And that's going to be good enough for now. Okay, so we're going to output to new layer with a layer mask and hit OK. Awesome. All right, so we're going to go down a little bit and we're going to turn on the background layer. So now the family, or another, a copy of the family, I should say, is on this layer. I'm going to double click and just put family, just so you know. Okay, we're going to click back on the background layer. We're going to go file place embedded. Um, this is a PNG of the truck. Okay, so this is going to be tricky because how big is a car? I don't know. I feel like it's not that big. I feel like the top of my van is only a little bit above my head. All that futz with the trees and the car blocks it. Of course. And then obviously the further up means they're actually in the foreground of it. They're not, you know, you can't put the car like this because then it doesn't make sense. So maybe put it like this. Let's just go ahead and double click on it. Okay, we're going to zoom up and look at the edges um, in a second. First, we're going to go back to the background layer, hit Control J, This is where your shadows are going to be, because obviously it looks like the car is just kind of floating there. Then we're going to click on the burn, dodge, burn. Let's put shadows first. Okay, so you can actually, don't worry about um, getting it on mom, because mom's on a different layer. Now, I'm going to just kind of put a little bit of shadows even up through there, just because I feel like it makes sense. Then I'm going to try mid-tones. I usually like mid-tones better. I probably should have started with that. I feel like there's going to be a little bit of shadow under the car. OK, so I usually go a little heavy-handed because Someone made a comment about their feet didn't look real, but that's actually how they looked in real life. <laughs> um, okay, 
So you can take the shadows off. See how the shadows like make a huge. So if you feel like you went a little heavy handed, you can always lower the opacity on this end. But I actually love shadows, so I'm going to just go ahead and leave them. Um, I actually am digging the sky. I'm going to see what it looks like a little bit. Whoops, hang on, I'm on the wrong layer. Sky, there we go. I feel like I'm just going to lighten that up a little bit. I love that. Okay, so now we're going to zoom up. Let's click on the family, actually on the layer mask of the family. I'm just going to kind of eyeball, yep, see mom's hair? I knew it was going to mask off some weird stuff. So get on the mask, get a brush. We want this to be a hard brush. Use the bracket key, the left bracket key. Oh my God, 23% rookie. Rookie mistake. All right, let's go check out dad. So if this was going to a client, obviously you're going to kind of like go through it with a fine tooth comb. I'm just doing this tutorial to show you some tricks. Anyway, voila. Oh yeah. So someone said, you never flatten your images. Oh yeah. Okay. So click on these three lines over here. Actually, you're going to do two things. Pause. Okay. The first thing you're going to do, leave all these layers open. And you're going to go File, Save As. It's going to be a PSD file. And just call it um, Layers. And then hit Save. OK, because I can't tell you how many times I've flattened an image and then saved it. And then for some reason, I was like, Oh my God, like, let's just say like when it didn't select in between dad's legs and you could still see the grass and you're like, oh shit. And then what are you going to do? You can't, you're stuck. So if you save all the layers separately, if you notice something down the line, you can always go back and fix it. Okay, so now I click on the three images, flatten the image, save as again, JPEG. We can take out the layers. Let's just put um, final. I always rename everything because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to rename the truck and then I can't use it anymore. You know what I mean? Okay. So yeah, that would be my final image. So enjoy. Thanks, Jennifer.